Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. We fix this camera. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Can Devin Haney, can he win again? I was just eating this shit. Is it over for Devin? But I'm going to tell you right now. Devin Haney, when he fought Ryan Garcia. And I understand everybody has an opinion. Some people felt that um, Devin Haney was cheated, right? Other people felt that he wasn't cheated. You got people like me who are out here kind of like, well, doesn't really look good for Ryan, but there's so many moving pieces here. Hard for me to say what direction I think things are going to go. But the bottom line is for Devin Haney, he, he's going to have to get back to landing like 13 of, uh, of 42 punches per round. Uh, that was his average over the last 10 fights. Uh, unfortunately for Devin Haney, when he fought Ryan Garcia, he was only landing 7 of 18 punches per round. That's not going to work. And I think we all know, if you've been following Devin Haney's career, he's at his best when he has that jab going and he's letting his hands go. Now, uh, Devin's not a dumb fighter who's standing in the pocket looking for a massive crash-up. I do think Devin Haney, till this day, Deontay Wilder, worries about his image and how the boxing fans uh, re receive him uh, when he boxes and feeling like they would respect him more if he had the, the one hit or quitter. And I think that kind of got him in some trouble with Ryan because it doesn't matter what you think, I think, uh, right, whether you think Devin got cheated or not, the Austerine played a, a role in the fight or not, right? It doesn't matter. Every, obviously, people have strong feelings about this. I'm not one of those because I don't give a shit. You understand? I'm a boxing fan, so I'm a fan of the sport. And I'm open to any conversation, but you're not going to get me uh, to pigeonhole myself into a one-dimensional way of thinking. I just, I can't do that. Um, but what, I, what I'll say is this. With Devin getting ready to fight Chikadze, okay, I, I don't I don't know if Devin's going to be able to, to, to get off 42 punches per round and land 13 to 15 of those shots. The reason is because if you look at Devin Haney, right, and you got to take the emotion out of it. Devin Haney fighting guys like Lomachenko. Cambosos, um, Jojo Diaz, Regis Progre, right? Even Linares, okay? When you just look at that, right? Look at the size of Devin Haney. I'm not talking about, oh, him coming in weighing 25, you know, weighed in at 140, came in at 160. Something. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about his size compared to those fighters. Taller, longer reach. Uh, and he was bigger, right? It's a bit easier, especially when your guy who's a master boxer, brilliant boxer like Devin, when you have those advantages and you like to work behind your jab and then you like to shoot the right hand once you frustrate him and then you'll clinch and then you'll hook out of there, throw uppercuts. You push him off with your shoulder. You shoot the short right hand. Devin does a lot of things great. And he's able to damn near execute perfectly against fighters who are smaller than him. Right? That's not something that I'm conjuring up here, people. Okay? So you saw when he got in there with Ryan. Look, I, I get it. I get it, right? I I like every I'm me like everyone else. I want to know not if Austrian was in a system. Because when we're dealing with the facts, right, just from what we see, forget the conspiracy theories and all that, right? Just from what we see, it, we know there was uh, this Austrian and Ryan system, okay? Those are the facts. I don't think anybody can argue that. Whether you think you're pro-Devin Haney or pro-Ryan Garcia, right? When you deal with the facts, what we know. Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia had a fight where Ryan Garcia had Austrian in the system. 
Now, this is the part that, that I'm sitting back and I keep saying it, you know. I keep saying I think I think uh, no one can take Ryan serious. He has no credibility. No one can take Devin or his dad serious. To me, they have no credibility either, right? To me, they all, I keep saying, they all need to shut up. Or really, Devin and his dad need to shut up because to me, they have the upper hand. Sit back and just chill. When people say, what do you mean they have the upper hand? Well, what I mean by that is they're not the ones that, that are trying to fight a damn test that came back positive for some goddamn pet. So, so they have the upper hand. The problem is they're talking too much, and now they're giving people ammunition, just like when the little boy, uh, Bill Haney's son. You should have never let that boy come out here and do a goddamn YouTube short where he's talking about Allah came to my brain and told me that Ryan was going to test positive for PEDS or steroids or some shit. That was before the goddamn announcement was made. So you tell, so again, that's not, to me, that's not good for the little man. It makes you question, you see? And that's what, it makes you wonder, well, what the hell is going on here? This little man just got the goddamn hood champion crystal ball over there at the crib. Rubbed him on the crystal ball and like I make my predictions about fights and get them right. He made his prediction about Ryan Garcia testing positive and he got it right. It, it cast doubt on the whole thing as far as if Ryan Garcia was being treated fairly or if there's a little bit of funny business there. Then you got Victor Conti. To me, I would have I would have tried to get a no gag order on that dude. I would have put a gag order on him. Tell him shut up. Victor Conti should shut up. He has not once come out here and sounded fair and unbiased. Everything when he's talking is Ryan, 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 guilty, 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 Ryan, Ryan, Devin's innocent, Devin's innocent, Devin's innocent. <clears throat> First, no, uh, Victor Conti has no credibility, right? He's seen as an effing cartoon character. So for him to come out now and act like he's the, 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 the spokesperson in the face of uh, of, of, of clean box promoting clean boxing is just to me outright outlandish and he should disappear I would have told him with a quickness Joe just don't say nothing but anyway for Devin how much did the fight take out of him I'm telling you right now like this ain't even a, trying to make jokes and shit and I love a good conversation and if you're not la laughing, you're not living, <clears throat> in my opinion. Not too much bothers me. I make a joke out of any goddamn thing. Um, I almost drowned once. I make a joke about that shit. And that was some serious shit I went through, man. That's what you get for drinking that guy back in the day. I, don't, I haven't drank. I don't drink, you know what I'm saying? But when I was younger, I used to take a little sip. Effing around in that ocean. Uh, drinking that goddamn rum and uh, coconut water. Got my ass out there and got caught up in a riptide. And I was talking to Jesus. But I survived. But the thing is, how much how much did the Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney fight, right? How much did that take out of Devin? Because let's be real now. When you see fighters, and I've talked about this in other videos, and I'm not going to expound. I'm just going to mention the names. And if you follow boxing, you know exactly what, I'm, what I mean. Adrian Broner made Donna. What happened to A.B.? You look at uh, recently there, Anthony Joshua, Andy Ruiz. What happened to Anthony Joshua? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Tia Fimo after that Cambosos loss. How did he look in his first fight at 140? You know what I mean? It, it, it affects fighters, man, to where their output diminishes and their confidence goes away. And it takes the right opponents the right team, the right support system uh, to help them to, to regain those things and rebuild those things. And I just don't think, when we're talking opponent-wise, family support system, Devin has the right everything with family support system. He doesn't have the right thing for opponent because he's got to go up here and fight Sandor Martin. Sandor Martin ain't no joke, man. People out here so focused on all the goddamn bullshit going on between Ryan and Devin. And, and Devin is innocent or Devin got done wrong and Ryan tried to kill him Ryan should go to prison or Ryan's innocent they're framing Ryan um, this is a they're trying to bring the black man down they're trying to bring the, the, the Mexican down 
Uh, if you speak positive about Ryan, uh, you, they call you names. If you speak positive about Devin, they call you names. Like children, man. <laughs> really. I feel they give them counseling sessions. I feel like I got subordinates with some of the idiots that come onto my page and comment. I should reprimand your ass. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, for Devin Haney, I just think him having that WBC strap still is a blessing and a curse, but more curse than blessing. Because he has that belt, he has mandatories. And he's got to fight a guy like Sando Martin. Who gets busy? Sando Martin, the guy who retired Mikey Garcia. Sando Martin put the bing beans on Tia Fimo. And that wasn't no Jermaine Ortiz style of fight. He fought him. But you know, hey, some people felt Sando Martin won. Some people felt Tio won. But everyone agrees it was a close fight. But majority feel Sando Martin beat Tio. But Tio's, he's the... Uh, in-house fighter, so it is what it is. Now for Devin Haney. Even if he gets past Sandor Martin, right? This thing about Devin Haney becoming undisputed at 140. When you look at Subra Matias, Ismail Barroso, Aesop Pitbo Cruz, Tia Fimo. I mean, let's just hold our horses for a second. Do we, do we think Devin Haney can hold off Pitbull Cruz. Because Devin said that was his goal, right? Becoming undisputed at 140. Although they want money at the same time. But that's a whole nother bottle of wax. Because if they're chasing money, going up for big fights against boots, let's not take it to the stupid. Trying to fight Keith Thurman, even though Keith Thurman's inactive, uh, let's not take it to the stupid. Uh, but at 140, Subra Matias, hey, you hold your horses. Um, Pitbull Cruz, hold your horses. Tiafimo, maybe that's a little, little, little bit different, but still, you got, you got to wonder, just what can Devin Haney do? Can he win again? And I'm not talking about fighting a tomato can, the guy who gets out the shower to take a piss and going downstairs and making breakfast in bed for his wife and she's cheating on him and he accepts that. You know what I mean? Not that cornball. I'm talking about the real killer's out there who's all about putting the bing-bings on you. Can, can he really get out there and, and, and beat one of those champions at 140? Because you know he ain't going to 147, which is where he should be, but he can't go because he don't have the power. He is, just doesn't, he can't survive at 147. He will get tranquilized. Every fight, Alexis Rocha beats Devin Haney. That's my opinion. Alexis Rocha, now y'all can go, Santion destroy Rocha. Rocha took that fight on short notice because Santion's a different animal. Devin Haney can't keep them guys off of him. So he's in, he's in a horrible position. But it's uh, it's interesting because who knows? He may rise from the ashes like the Phoenix and go on out here, man, and shock the world because he, 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 he has that kind of skill and he's that outstanding of a boxer. But, but at the same time, I got to be real with you. Ryan Garcia hurt, that, hurt him. He hurt him, man. First round, whenever Ryan Garcia let his hands go, he hurt Devin. Every time he let his hands go. And it wasn't just the left hook. I mean, that, of course, that was, the, uh, that was the money shot. It was that goddamn right hand, too. So I just wonder. He already didn't have the best chin. But to see him get a pound of flesh taken out of him in that fight, very similar to what Tyson Fury did to Wilder. And Wilder also did to Fury in the third fight. You know, it takes some out of you when you get the shit beat out of you. But we're going to see what, what, what Devin has left. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not optimistic. Not against the elite fighters. Remember the killers. I ain't talking about the tomato can, making breakfast in bed for your wife, knowing she's sleeping there with, she got a boyfriend on the side. You know what I'm saying? Permanent boyfriend and husband on the side bullshit. Not that cornball. I'm talking about the, the, the guys who get busy. But nonetheless, we're going to see. Because really, it's all on Bill Haney. And he, he putting all this energy and effort into trying to a smear campaign for Ryan Garcia, which I think is absolutely stupid because he just needs to chill out because I'm going to keep telling you, Bill Haney, Devin Haney, Team Haney, in my opinion, they've got the upper hand. I, don't get me wrong. I understand you're seeing uh, one billionth of a gram. Somebody said one one billionth. I'm like, motherfuckers just making shit up now. One 100 times the amount uh, allowed for Austerine. 60 times the amount allowed for Austerine. 
the hair follicle test. Bill Haney and Team Haney should have been there for the hair follicle test. So the hair follicle test won't be recognized by the New York State Athletic Commission. Third party this, are allowed, aren't allowed. Yo, man, I'm up on everything they've been saying about this Haney, Ryan Garcia drama. Every single thing. The California State Athletic Commission shit, Regis Prograde, whether it's true or not true about Devin coming in uh, beyond what's allowed and most of his fights. I, I, look, I've read all, I see all this shit out there. And you know what I've concluded? I've concluded that everyone involved should hold their horses and stop taking it to the goddamn stupid. Just chill out. Let it play out, man. Guys flying around, man, want to throw, throw darts at people because they're not saying what they want to hear. Nobody knows. The only thing we seem to know that seems to be a fact, right? And I'm going to say that because you're getting it from Ryan's side and you're getting it from Devin's side. Both sides, there's a, there's a consistency here. Is that there was Ostering and Ryan that showed up in Ryan's sample. A and B. That is a fact. All the other shit, <coughs> I'm hearing too many different stories. So I, I don't, I'm not saying I don't hear it. I just don't really recognize it. But I hear you. It's a difference to hear you and listen to you. You know what I mean? I hear you, but I ain't really listening. You know what I mean? So I want to see how this investigation goes. I want to see what Ryan Garcia can really, uh, uh, what kind of um, proof he has. Um, that's going to be tenable uh, as far as the New York State Athletic Commission. Because if it can, def if it can use that to defend against argument that he intensely took it, well, you know, hey, interesting. But I tell you what, Amir Khan was in the very same situation, and he had that opportunity, and Amir Khan wasn't able to to prove that he unintentionally took Austering because he didn't have the substance, he couldn't provide anything, so that's why he got hit with that two-year ban. Everyone saying Ryan Garcia's gonna get a two-year ban? Nobody knows! But what I would say is, uh, I don't think he's gonna get a two-year ban, and you know, that's my opinion, and the reason why is because obviously he, he has some things in place that Amir Khan didn't even have, you know what I'm saying? And I just think he's going to give more than nothing and as a result, is, and the way it's looking, it's going a direction, in my opinion, where he may get like a six-month uh, ban and, and maybe a fine, maybe. You, you know, you listen to Eddie Hearn. See, this is the thing. Don't listen to these idiots here on YouTube creating content. You know, with me, you don't even have to listen to me. I'm just having a conversation. But these idiots who are acting like this is a fact and that's a fact, let me tell you something. <clears throat> it's just like when I give predictions on boxing matches. I don't know. It's just a conversation. And if the prediction ends up right, it makes me look like the all-knowing hood champion in the graduate crystal ball. Nah, man, I'm just having a conversation. Nobody knows what's going to happen in the fight. Just like all these idiots out here speaking their own facts, they don't know. Now, if Ryan, if someone says, oh, Ryan's going to get a two-year ban, and then the two-year ban happens, the, the person who said that to some of these uh, YouTube uh, uh, observers, they, they look like a god to them. Oh, he knew. He called it. Oh, this aged well. Fucking corny to me. But I'm telling you right now, I don't think he's going to get a two-year ban. I don't. And the reason I don't is because Eddie Hearn said it'll probably be more like a six-month ban. That's what, and, you know, and, and I'm listening to Eddie Hearn. You know why? Because he's close to Devin Haney. He's close to the source. And, and, and Eddie Hearn likes to throw shit out there. And Eddie Hearn He's very careful what he says because he you knows all the shit he has going on with Conor Ben and all them fights that he's had underneath the matchroom name where there's fighters, whether with matchroom or someone or, or uh, the opponent his guy was fighting, I was testing positive for pet. So, so mat matchroom, the name matchroom is almost synonymous with positive pet test. Um, so I tend to listen to to what uh, or I tend to listen to what um, uh, what's his name Eddie Hearn saying. Doesn't mean he's going to go that way, but I, his words carry more weight to me than some cockle hole out here who's on YouTube and just talking, oh, yeah, yeah, Ryan Garcia tested positive. He's going to get an indefinite ban. Facts, facts, facts. No cap, no cap, no blue hat, blue hat, blue hat. 
I don't want to hear that stupid shit. But anyway, let's sit back and see what happened with old Devin, man. Can he win again? But I'm going to tell you right now, in order for Devin to win again, I just really think the confidence needs to be there. The mentality needs to be there. Um, the, the support system needs to be there. But more importantly, that's going to have to uh, drive Devin Haney to get in the ring and to do what he did for his uh, previous 10 fights before Ryan Garcia. And that's landing 13 to 15 points. 13 punches, uh, 13 to 42 punches per round. That's the sweet spot for Devin Haney. If he can keep it around that, Devin Haney has a, a winning recipe for success. If he can't do that, Devin Haney is a up shit, shit creek. And it ain't a foot deep. I got them 20 feet. It's a 20 foot creek full of shit. And goddamn it, he got to somehow navigate through that. And it's gonna stink. Especially for some of our Devin Haney fans who are out here who want to just run up on Ryan Garcia and bite him and he'll get Claude and Ray and start round two of your killing spree and all that shit. Y'all just need to just easy yourself. Let this shit play out. But we're going to see because everybody getting quiet now. Even Ryan Garcia. He got quiet, didn't he? Bill and Devin, Bill out here still acting like a damn buffoon, but I think it's all going to get quiet. Everybody's going to get reticent. And you know that means a storm's brewing. We're going to see what the outcome is. But, hey, if Ryan Garcia gets a two-year ban, I don't care. If he gets a six-month ban, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think they're going to use him as an example to, to now set a precedence when he got Gerald Big Baby Miller about to goddamn fight, and that motherfucker was juiced to the gills. Now, I'm not making that shit up. Juiced to the gills, multiple goddamn banned substance in the system, for that AJ fight, didn't come back to the sport, test positive again. All right? Now, we talk about, well, the fighters responsible, they should know what they're putting in the system. No argument. I agree. But just stop for a second. How the F are they going to ban Ryan Garcia? I mean, they can do what they want, right? But come on, two years, indefinite, when you got this guy running around? Come on now. Let's hold our horses and not take it to the stupid. But anyway, I can't wait till they make a decision, man, because I'm going to be on it. But I just have a feeling people are going to be pissed off when Ryan Garcia just gets a tap on the wrist. But if they give him the business, no Vaseline, then he's earned that. But what? I, because, I mean, he didn't do a good job uh, defending, uh, defending himself, you know, and presenting his case. And we always know there's a little bit of secret society in everything. And it could have been some secret society that allowed Ryan to get in that ring with that. If it's proved that he did it intentionally to get in that ring and try to hurt Devin. It could be some secret society. But Ryan, if he gets hit with a really stiff ban, you just, it, that secret society shit just, it, it shows up in all areas. Just if you can recognize it. But what else I was going to say, man? Being responsible. Um, Talking about Conor Ben Ryan um, returning to the sport of boxing. <clears throat> Something else I was gonna say about that. <clears throat> I forgot what I was gonna say, but anyway, I said enough, right? Y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans, all seven continents. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. I'm about to end the video. The other thing I'm gonna be paying attention to: lawsuits. People are going to sue Ryan Garcia if it's determined by the commission that he was unable to prove unintentional consumption of austerine. As a result, they're sticking it to him. I think that's enough for people out here who betted on Devin to win and lost to come out here and start hitting Ryan, Ryan Garcia with some lawsuits. Now, I'm not a lawyer. As a matter of fact, there's no YouTube, there's no one here on YouTube who's talking boxing who's a lawyer. No one. That's a fact. Um, but what I will say is uh, Ryan Garcia could be up shit creek um, because there's a lot of people that bet money for Devin to win. And I'm not just talking about casinos. I'm talking about there's a lot of regular, man, mom and pop type people 
I know there was one guy out here, he was crying, tongue hanging out of his mouth, wrapped around his head, dragging across his scalp. Uh, they were in the, in the room with a dark light swinging above his head because he stupidly refinanced his house with these high-ass interest rates, dumbass, and bet the money on Devin Haney to beat Ryan. Absolutely stupid. He bet off taking that money and buying the goddamn Ethereum right now, even though it's not back down to 1300 that it was uh, about six months ago. Could have went and bought some goddamn Ethereum right now, man. I mean, it just bubbled up another 7%, but that's a better bet than betting on goddamn Devin Haney to beat Ryan Garcia. Anyway, I'm in the breeze.